Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Dan Hendrickson here. We're at Sunningdale Old Course here today. We're in the Sunningdale Foursomes practice round. The boys, Paul and James, playing against Alex and Dan. If you haven't tuned into part one, make sure you head over and watch part one before you get on to the next six. Beautiful golf club, rare footage really, because the chances of us allowing to be able to film out here is always a little bit difficult, but absolutely delighted that we're out here. So a big thank you to Sunningdale for allowing us to play. Let's head to the seventh tee where the boys, I think, are three up. Seventh hole then, up and over the top, 406 yards. It's a big sloping fairway when you get up over the top of the hill. James with driver. Very good, little slider up there. Sort of playing it into the slope, which is perfect for this hole. Now let's go, and s go fairway. Right on side. I'm going to see that down. Oh, nice. That's very good. Cutting far. out the left hand side there. It's too straight, could run Is through. It far. could run through with that club. Well, we've got 124. James, at a perfect drive. He's got it away from sort of this bump here. So it's ran off this hill down here into sort of the left hand side of the fairway. Any further left, you're sort of really snookered by these overhanging trees. So it's probably a perfect drive, really. Forward nine on. That's a great shot. Oh, that's class. It's in there tight, three or four foot by the look of it, just right at the pin. Dan chipping out of the trees. Not an easy position. Hooking it, trying to hook it round. Getting himself back into position there, that's good. Leave Alex probably about a 80 yard pitch. And a great shot in by Paul. Alex, Dan's just put him, he's actually about 75 yards in, so he's just got a little pitch up the green pins tucked in on this sort of right hand side from where he is so again you can see positioning off the tee really important not ideal as they say little short kicks in off there not feeling it today so far anyway right down up the green it's got a little upslope a little bit of green to work we've got to throw it all the way i would say probably close to where that shadow is on the flag just to get it to stop on that platter. Check those grooves. Yeah, that was a bit of spin on that. Nicely executed though. What you got, Jimbo? Pretty straight, really. Yeah, not a lot in it. Uh, kind of a little bit of both ways. Or quite a bit right to left. Yeah. <laughs> Cabrita. Quite a bit of movement there, isn't there? How did that miss? <laughs> I'm guessing this one's not straight then. No. It's, all, it's all business, uh, Benny, all business. Yeah. Nice, boys. An adventurous half. Was it? Bloody hell. Well done, boys. Very good. Fist pump in that. <laughs> um, sorry about that, everybody. It's not actually a half at all. There was a ball that went out of play early on, and then you actually made a five yeah. from the second ball. So. Uh, Paul and James, four up now. Another lovely par three, eighth hole, one, six, eight. Yeah, a little seven. A little seven, so eight, there is actually a couple of tees further back. So I imagine when you get the big championships around there, they might, they might actually push them back there for the for this event, wouldn't they? Save they save them, save them for it's practice not, rounds. Further back than this. Yeah, they're just, this is probably practice round tees. Nice pull, starting it just right at the flag, drawing it in. 
again here that's going to roll back i think it's coming back mm, no it's held on but there's a huge sort of drop off just there brings you right back to the front of the green what have you got dan i've got an eight eight as well should be a good number for me Just leaking out to the right hand side, catch a piece. Yeah, that's that little drop off area there. That'd be okay, just didn't quite get the strike he wanted there. Just working on a few things, Dan? Yeah, just same stuff all the time. Just do you have, a, have you, are you, do you have like a little winter project that you try and um, work on or you just focus on uh, Yeah, so I've been scoring. working with Alex for oh, three years now. Have you? Um, just kind of got it to a point where just kind of working on the same stuff but as everything with golf it's just got to constantly constantly be on it I think if anything I get a little bit stuck on the technical side of things okay. don't probably allow myself to just trust it on the course enough yeah, yeah, yeah. so it's um, it. just try, yeah, trying to practice a bit better so that when you get on the course you can just focus on free, playing golf free up and yeah that's it whereas yeah. that then was a bit more of a technical swing and yeah that's what you need to be doing on the range, so yeah. trying to separate the two a little bit more. So it's Alex to putt first. What have we got? It's not best putt a 30 foot straight up the hill. It's gone well, way to the right. Really Good for pace, <laughs> but line was quite a way off to be fair. James now for his two. Oh, hello. Oh, that was going some pace as well. Was that a sneaky little Brand two? Was, gonna say. was that? Is that five? Is that five up or three? I don't know what it is now. Five know. up? Yeah, five. Thank you. It's five. We are doing front nine, back 20, 20, nine. Yeah, I think we're going to do front nine, back nine, yeah, just yeah. so everybody gets to see the whole golf course yeah, if we can. Yeah. <laughs> Ninth hole. It's only 267 yards to the front from this T position. So, wind's... I think it's almost helping, Jimbo. You know? Yeah. It's helping out the left, isn't it? So if you get your normal shape, James, a little bit off the left, it's going to slide with the wind. Three wood? Yeah. Well, it's a good play. Yeah, beautiful. That's so good. Beautiful, bud. James has hit here, sort of front edge, which is good. Probably got 25 foot. Right, three wood for Alex as well. It's a good right. hit, really good hit. Just turned over. Got over the trap though, I think. I definitely had it. I think we've good hit. A I think we were a bit. Should be really quick this and probably quite a bit of break. He's aiming good. Four, three or four foot to our left is right. This will be very rapid, it'll come as soon as it's faced again sideways. Might be a little bit hard. It's a great roll. Stay up. It's a great roll. Good, good chance. Let's see the three. So this now to get back to four. Realistically probably looking at two putts. Loved and free. Tenth hole. This is literally one of my favourite tee shots in golf. As you can see, par four up the hill, 488 yards. Now, as halfway huts go, there are some good ones, but that one there is the best. Absolutely the best. I think a good sausage sandwich in there, Dan, costs you about a quid. All ever, that's all you need this hole is known for the sausage sandwiches is it all it is sausage sausage sandwiches and this is it you kind of feel yourself trying to play this hole as quick as you can to give yourself more time in the hut correct yeah, yeah you could spend a lot of time in that hut or get your match done and dusted by the hut okay so we are starting a back nine game now as well we? yeah uh, so a second game or so a second game okay. so you've got the still got the main game going at five yeah but they, they've pressed you on another game. Wind into out the right. 
Doesn't like it down the left. Down, I see it down there. Might be okay. Just shaping, isn't it? A lot there. It's okay, Dan. That's absolutely fine. Just got a lot of shape on that wind. It started turning, and then the wind. Are you gonna have another go, Paul? Have a Little Just practice shot. Practice tomorrow. Okay. Yeah, I like that. That's well, that's the wind got it there a little bit, but it's perfect, absolutely perfect. Off that trap, let it move to the right. That's what I see. Paul T shot's gone on the left hand side. Just in the light stuff, he's not made that heavy, which is good. But James may need a head cover. You tell him to take the head cover for his driver. What you got? Too far? Two fifty second shot. No, you haven't. I no swearing. Sorry, apologies. I don't think I've ever had 250 into a par 4. <laughs> you did when you were about 11. Yeah, 12 years old. <laughs> you are live on the channel, yeah. please do not swear. <laughs> well, I'm basically playing with a version of myself when I was 12. You were a better player when you were 12. <laughs> I was than I am now, yeah. James is slightly, I'll just take you up there, slightly blocked out. We've got an overhanging tree. And he's going to hit driver, and generally people do fade it when they hit driver, lack of loft. Um, James has got a bit of talent though, so he might even move it the other way. Right. 212. 212. Slightly blocked out, he's going to have to move this right to left. Blocked oh. out. That's a great shot. So good. Oh. Cool. Way short. Bit more wind up there than we think. Yeah, yeah. Feel it now actually. Yeah. Mine's alright, but how is that? How there's is a twig here in your way, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Look at it. James said it's alright, but <laughs> <laughs> um you have you've got this. I've got this, yeah. Well I can't even stand it, let alone in it. <laughs> what are you thinking? Little 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 thing? Little hooked something hooked. I've got, I've got to try and keep it out of the hut. <laughs> This could be in the hut. If we could be ordering food a bit quite rapidly. There was a queue until Paul played the shot. This is as tough as it gets, really. Oh, it's unlucky. It's unlucky. It's hard yeah. to. It's hard when you've got a tree that close to you. It's actually hard to follow through because you just feel like you're going to not only snap your club but damage your hand. Some say the toughest shot in golf, Dan. Yeah. Got this big lip to deal with, probably about 40 yards up and over that lip, then the heather. So he's a good, decent lie. Oh, Dan, that's so good with the club. Don't spin. Don't spin. Very good. Hugely tilted green again, but that's a great shot out there. Well done. Nice them to win one. Paul's just gone through the green, so just playing back down. Playing down a down slope. I think they probably conceded the hole, but Paul's just having a little practice. Great shot. shot. It's really good, Paul. We can leave you 250, just let it drive off the deck. Maybe. Jimbo, given the six. Can you replay that, please? Yeah. <laughs> I didn't hear given. Oh, they've conceded the hole, perfect. Oh, they've given you the hole. Yeah. Just said that. Just a bit of practice putting then, mate. Yeah. Oh, they just there, they just want to get into that halfway hut quicker, I think. One, well done, boys, you're one up. On the Four and one at the moment. The right, I'm heading in there. Oh, an athlete. There it is. <laughs> there it is. That's the traditional sausage bat from the halfway hut. Beautiful. Oh, that's it. That's what it's all about, Paul. It's all right there. That's your second sausage sandwich of the day. Eleventh hole over the top of that what waste bunker? A rare waste bunker out here. 
over the pole and it's about 312, 300, well, about 315, let's say, to the pin from where we are. Jimbo's it in two iron. It's slightly into out the right. Is that what we're seeing? So is it on that line over the pole with the two iron, James? Uh, a bit left of that, to be fair. A little left of that, but that, that pole is on the line for the green, isn't it? Where you're yeah, gonna... I think that pole is kind of off that tee normally. Okay. Good swing. Yeah, lovely swing, that. Perfect. Straight through that cap. There you go. Driver for like Alex, that. going for it. It's 350 off this, Jim. Yeah, yeah into win think. though, he's not going to get there. Like waiting around chicken sandwiches. Yeah, chicken sandwiches. It's a great hole this 11th hole. It's only a short one, so it's only 320 yards or whatever. So for these boys, they can kind of get it there. But this is the danger you've got. You've got trouble all the way down the right hand side off the tee to a, a bit of a tough little green, really. And the problem is, your kind of bailout is down the left hand side here, but you're so reliant on a decent lie with a small pitch over a pop, like deep bunker, onto a very undulated green. Kind of where James laid himself up to back here is probably the play. I certainly think that that's the play if you're into wind. Definitely get yourself back there, downwind, maybe you can have a little pop at it. James has hit the sort of laid up, probably hit an iron off the tee. Probably four, three or four iron, I would say, to here. Nine to five, I got five it. Pin sort of right, cut on the right hand side, it's quite a, looks like a smallish, smaller green. Play is slightly left of the stick, I think. On line, just a bit short. And a little bit blocked out. Let's take you up there, this is what he's faced with. Can't quite see the pin, it's just dead straight through the gap. 114. Held up in the wind. Always picking that up. Twelfth hole, little dog leg from right to left. Absolute treat this one. Beautifully positioned, beautifully positioned green up there. The boys are coming back at them. They're two up on the back. They're three in the match now. Doesn't take much for them, does it? Hugging the left side. Be okay, that over that one should be a good spot. It is a little right, but a little lower. Short and in it, I think. Yeah, that wasn't good. Bounce short, went in. Paul's drive has just found this left bunker. There's one on the right hand side, a little bit further up as well, so it's sort of protect it. Don't think you can get there off that lie anyway. It's on a slight upslope with a a massive lip, which is nearly probably six foot high. So he's playing his little wedge out. It's a good shot. Best hand he's ever tasted. You go right in the middle of the fairway. When you play on courses like this, literally, if Alex was a centimetre to the right, he'd have a, a decent attempt. But I mean, he's really sort of snookered there. Big clump of hair behind the ball. Problem is when he's hit, hitting into it, I'm going to get a bit of heather between the club face and the ball and it's just going to come out dead. It's not easy there, is it? No. Really got to tell you about this. It's just so thick. You get in here where it's like it just grabs the club and you go in there with any sort of little bit of loft, so less loft, 
it snags the club up and just wraps it. So you've got absolutely no chance of getting out. It's just a wedge out and put yourself back into position. What have you got, Paul? Six iron. Six iron, yeah. Stay there. It's drifting in, fraction left. It's caught left side. Up. Not the miss. Short sided. James is left with a little down slope landing. He's got to go up, then he's got to land on a down slope to a pin that kind of runs away from him. Yeah, not ideal, James, but you need a little bit of a um, little bit of savvy here. Nice little toe spinner. I think that's as good as you can do from there. Uh, yeah. Not bad, Jimbo. Rapid left, your, left your partner an uphill part. Well done, you. A bit rapid there. Right, Alex. For his par. Yeah, that's where I've got He's, it. That's uh, exactly where I've got it. Yeah, but it's breaking too, though, isn't it? So it's probably more like. I reckon. Yeah, it's okay, I got it. As soon as the speed goes off there, it's just thinking. All right. Come on down. Come on down. That's a good putt though. I thought that was going to move a lot more midsection that. Yeah, picking that up. What's this for? Five. This is for the half. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> that has just snapped. Right boys, that's the 12th hole and that ends part two, Bernie. Um, the score now is, well it's, a, it's just swung around. So the boys have gone three up, okay, on the back nine. These boys have gone from five to now two. Good match. Comments down below, what's the result gonna be? Put your comment down below, Bernie. Go on, put it, it down. Put it down. If you look in the there. comment section, you'll see that I've got lots of comments. And it's been pinned. <laughs>